everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to work the beautiful triple clusters V stitch. This is a wonderful stitch. It's the same on both sides, on the front and the back. It works up fairly quickly, doesn't use a lot of yarn, and is quite strong as well. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a 5mm or an H8 crochet hook. This is a birchwood hook by Rowan Yarn. I'm also going to be using a little bit of a worsted weight acrylic yarn and this is the basic stitch anti-pilling yarn by Lion Brand. There will be links to these items in the description of this video. Also down in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written instructions which are on richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, check out the Crochet Stitches playlist. This channel is updated every single week with free crochet stitch tutorials and crochet patterns. Now our stitch today is worked in rows. We're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain today is going to need to be a multiple of three stitches plus two. So today I'm going to chain a total of 20. And just a quick note, as we are beginning today, I'll be working in American crochet terms. Once you have worked your foundation chain, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. Once you come all the way across at the end of row one, you're going to chain four, and this counts as a triple stitch. You're then going to turn your work. Now for row one, two, we're going to begin by skipping the next two stitches. So skip the stitch at the base of your uh, turning chain, and skip the next two stitches. Into your next stitch, you're then going to work a triple cluster, chain one, and triple cluster. To work the triple cluster, yarn over twice, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're then going to pull, yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook twice. Yarn over twice, once again, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops twice. You'll then have three loops remaining on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. That is your triple cluster. You're then going to chain one and work one more triple cluster back down into the same stitch. Skip the next two stitches and into your next stitch work a triple cluster chain one and triple cluster back into the same stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way across. Skip the next two stitches and into your next stitch, triple cluster, chain one and triple cluster.
all the way across. When you come all the way across at the end of row two, you're going to finish off with a skip the next two stitches and work a final triple stitch into that final stitch. You can then chain four and turn your work. Now for row three, we're going to simply work a triple cluster, chain one and triple cluster into the next chain one space. So this is the chain one space that lies between your two clusters down below. Simply insert your hook into that space, work a triple cluster, chain one and triple cluster. You're going to simply repeat that all the way across into your next chain one space, work a triple cluster, chain one and triple cluster all into the same chain one space and repeat that all the way across. Once you come all the way across at the end of row three, you're going to finish off with a triple stitch into the top of your turning chain. Chain four and turn your work. And as for the repeat in this pattern, that is it. For the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat your row three, which is your triple cluster, chain one triple cluster in each chain one space, all the way across, finish off with that triple stitch into the top of the turning chain, chain four, and turn your work, and that's all there is to this triple cluster V-stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe if you happen to make something with this stitch and share it on social media. Be sure to tag Rich Textures Crochet. I always love to come by and admire your work. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.